Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri. We have another Maple tutorial. Today we would like to talk about differential equations and how to solve differential equations using Maple. Generally speaking, differential equations are equations that contain uh, several degree of derivative of a function related to uh, the function. So let me give you a simple example here. Uh, usually I go and I open a, a new document. Assuming I have a first derivative of a function is equal to the function. And we know that Maple uh, understand the notation, for example, prime, double prime, triple prime. So in this case, when I press enter, obviously what I have here is the first derivative of y, x, which is y is a function, and x is a variable, is equal to the function. And if I want to solve this, all I do right click, go to solve DE, which is the differential equation solver right here, and the answer needless to say would be the exponential of x so we all know that the derivative of exponential of x is equal to the exponential of x of course when you solve a differential equation you often uh, come across that you have a constant and this constant value can be calculated by knowing the boundary conditions so in this particular case in order to find the constant the c1 you do have to know the value of the function at one uh, certain point uh, if I write here y is equal to 2e exponential, sorry, 2ex, go here, 2 to the power x, and this is my function. So if I want to find uh, the prime, the first derivative, you can see these two are equal, and that shows that the calculation and this answer of this differential equation is correct. I can write here uh, z, 1, 2, 3, triple um, equation is equal to sine x and this is exactly what I meant and if I want to solve this I can right click solving differential equation and in this case obviously I need more than one boundary condition in this case I need three boundary conditions uh, three points and as you can see here if I get the derivative of this function here uh, the third derivative of the function it would be here so we can simply go and we can exercise that if I call uh, let's say hx is equal to so cosine x for some reason the computer is in the scope because something else is running in the back uh, plus half work here. Yeah, it's really, really slow. So I'll write it again here, cosine x plus half. And in this particular case, I put the value of c11 one, one, multiplied by x to the power 2. Plus, I put uh, C2 2 multiply by X and I put C3 minus 5. So this is my function. And if I want to find the third derivative of this function, so all I have to do in order to practice, uh, I would find here Y 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, X. And the answer is sine x. So you can see I actually proved that this answer is correct. So the third derivative of the function, this is a function, is equal to sine x. That's what we had there. But you might ask, well, what is or what are the applications of differential equations? There are numerous engineering applications uh, using differential equations. I would like to explain a few simple ones, maybe in a level of first year engineering. Uh, I'm sure you are all. Uh, familiar with the concept of a spring and when you have a spring uh, the force in the spring is equal to minus kx depends on the displacement and the constant of the spring and from the other hand you know based on the first uh, Newton law force is equal to mass multiplied by the acceleration and acceleration is the second derivative of uh, distance versus time so therefore I can simply create a differential equation here 
in which I have one side mass multiplied by acceleration here and on the other side I have the force of my spring so let's write this differential equation here and see how we can uh, proceed so assuming I have uh, a mass of 2 kilogram 2 multiply by and I have distance second derivative of the distance versus time is equal to minus 128 that's my constant of the spring multiplied by s and if I click on this so this differential equation will be created so I have the second derivative of uh, distance and here is you know variable is x you think about variable could be t or I can simply write it here t it doesn't matter and equal to minus 128 which is the constant of the spring multiplied by the displacement and here you right click you want to solve these differential equations here and the answer would be right here so obviously in this case we need to know some boundary condition to solve it for example we know we have to know at what certain points what are the values and uh, this is what we have here so we simply by solving it you can find the values here so that, that's an example that I uh, got it here and this is exactly the general form of this uh, differential equations and for that you do need to have the boundary conditions and you can simply solve now let's just add to the level of complexity and think about a, a damped vibration or a simple a spring that it actually been a stretch but it been a stretch in an environment something like just use this something like a beaker with water so of course aside from the spring resistance you have a resistance of your medium water here or simply you can think about uh, a damping system used in any kind of shocks uh, in various engineering components so in that case you do have these two terms the term is MA and you do have the spring but you do also have another resistance which in that case would be this term here and this term uh, they have a constant value and the first derivative of the distance versus time so as you increase the distance that this uh, weight travels through this beaker the force is going to be increased so how do you write this as differential equation as is written here right here this is how should be so we have uh, this part and these two are should be equal with this so or similar to this one here now and let me just write this differential equation here using the same so I would write here 2 multiply by uh, second derivative of let's just use another uh, function because sometimes when you use a function uh, you already have defined this is the function and the value will be changed so each time either you have to open a new uh, document or you just use different value in this case I use for example T so capital T so stand for the same uh, displacement one two three the uh, sorry double second derivative of the distance is equal to minus 128 multiplied by T distance plus let's call that this uh, constant 40 40 uh, set first derivative of the distance and this is the differential equation I have here so the second derivative of a function this is the distance this entire term is acceleration this related to the force of spring actually I have to change this one to negative here to be correct because both of them are negative this is here and this is the force of the damping and I can solve this simply by doing the same thing and the answer would be this function here of course in this particular case again I have to do you know the boundary condition and I this has been done here so you can see that this is the function that you have two values here and the values are uh, given for 
these uh, two here. So this is the equation that you have to actually solve. This is the equation you have to solve, and the answer is minus four and minus sixteen for this. And then this would be the general form. And from here, you do need to go and calculate C1 and C2. Now, if you want to go a little more advanced level, so you can add into this element of vibration. And if you add element of vibration here, not only you have acceleration here, you have the force of damping, you have the force of uh, the spring, you do have also another uh, force here which is a function of time so if I want to make that so let's just continue here I call it 2 multiplied by capital K this is the distance is equal to minus 128 multiplied by K minus 40 multiplied by uh, derivative of right here sorry K prime and I would call it minus this vibration force as well uh, just make it 2 multiply by K cosine K this is a differential equation here so again let's just uh, reiterate here so this is uh, acceleration this is the force and uh, the spring caused by spring this is the damping and this is the vibration of course the answer of that could be much more complex and uh, if you want to solve that you end up uh, an answer with several variables that in that case you have to define and may take a few minutes in this particular case actually the answer uh, is uh, not the real value you have imaginary values here so Perhaps in this particular case, you might not find an actual uh, dynamic translation for this equation here. But just to show you, so we can add uh, several layers of complexity. So this would conclude our uh, tutorial on how to solve differential equations using Maple. Thank you very much.